All right, so today we're going to take a Daz character and bring it into RPG Builder and use it as a main character and actually set up a uh, actual race and a gender so that you can use this within your game. Uh, it's actually really easy right now with the RPG Builder 2.0. Uh, it's pretty simple. All right, so I have this model set up. Uh, a couple things that I did, I simplified it, shorter hair so we don't have to worry about it, it moving uh, with the physics of the Unity engine. Um, I mean, we could do stuff with that if we wanted to, but we're not going to worry about that. And then we got a little bit tighter fitting clothes, so we don't have also same thing. We don't have to worry about the physics engine on it. If you have skirts, if you have shirts with maybe, you know, uh, sleeves that hang down or whatever to make it look right, you have to do some other things. We're not going to worry about that today. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the DAS Unity engine. Um, I've already got everything set up to where to set it. So if you don't know how to do DAS Unity, there's plenty of other tutorials out there, but we're not going to worry about that today. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to decide on a few morphs. We're really not going to worry too much about them for this tutorial. There's just one thing that we're going to do. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to add, it doesn't really matter which one we do. Uh, we're going to add one nipple morph it and that's just so we could fix any if there's some poke through that we didn't see in das studio we can fix that by applying that to the actual top of her shirt uh and then that should fix it um you know what we're actually going to do one more morph we're going to do something uh let's see just in case if that doesn't fix it let's do one that makes the breast bigger once again we're not going to be messing with her necessarily uh, what we're, we're, we're going to be doing is we're going to be using that for the top itself to be able to make it just a little bit bigger, if need be, uh, in that area, just in case there's a poke through. Now we're sending it over to Unity. All right, so we're back into Unity. And it, while I was away, I actually had to uh, figure a couple things out because I couldn't get the avatar to build uh, on the character. And it was the hair, which is really strange. So the purpose of this tutorial we're just going to have her be bald um the way i am going to fix this when i use this character in future tutorials is is that i'll just have the hair um exported separately and then just place it on her and i think it should be fine so here we have the character loaded in using das unity and now we just need to make it so that she can be used in the game uh, the first thing we have to do and i already checked this because i wanted to make sure that she was actually going to work right uh, is that we need to take the avatar and change it from generic to humanoid. I already did that. Um, and then one thing I always suggest in this is that you take, and once they're in there, uh, add the human rest override controller to her. And then from there, take and just test it out. Make sure that she's actually going to work with the animation. So let's go to scene view. Because if she doesn't work like this, then she's not going to work for the character. So that's that way before you go through the rest of the process, uh, if it's not going to work out, you can know that beforehand and don't waste your time. And you can go back and try to re-import and just try to make everything work. Uh, and just kind of show you what I did. The one that didn't work right, this error came up when I tried to switch it to humanoid. And once again, it's weird. Just took the hair off and it was fine. So something with the that particular hair uh, style was messing with her avatar. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Link Tools Characters, and we're going to drag him in there. Uh, we are going to make sure he's approximately the same size. We're then going to unpack completely. I already unpacked her, so we don't need to worry about it. Let's drag and make these two close to each other. So under the uh, armature parent on the uh, default figure for RPG Builder, we're going to delete his armature and we're gonna delete everything under meshes. We are then going to take and we're just gonna drag her under your parent, uh, we are then going to. We notice that the collider is over here, so we just need to 
reset the position. Now oh, she's in there. Uh, more or less close enough. Then the next thing we need to do is to take the different meshes, put them under meshes. All right, so we've got to go. So the meshes is in the right spot. Yep, meshes is right there. Uh, we got the armature parent with her bone structure, skeleton entity there. So we need to go in. So we have the human rest override as a controller, but this is not correct. So we're going to go. And we know what her name is. Builder av to avatar. Let's save because it's always good to save as much as possible. We're then going to go into blink. RPG builder character. I was going to create a new species of race. Eh, I'm not going to worry about that. Instead, we're just going to stay as human. Uh, oh, this is the other part. Now, already, let's let's do this again, kind of show you what I did here. Uh, I want to make sure that we have a sprite for the character. So what we're going to do is got the camera in here. Let's move the camera just a little bit. Ooh, let's get her in there. Yeah, that's good. Out. We're not too worried about it. Uh, so we're going to go into Recorder, and it's Unity Recorder. So if you go into package manager under unity assets, it's just actually it's just called is it just called recorder? Just called recorder on there. Uh, if we go to Windows, once that's uh, imported, we go to Windows General and then it's recorder. When you record a window, I always have this locked in here with project and console on mine. We're going to do image sequencing um, and we're going to do single frame. Or I just don't ever use this the first frame. Uh, let's do a one to one. Let's do it this way. So we got game view. Uh, if we wanted something to look a little bit better, we want to use game view. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, and then let's put this in the folder. All right, so we're gonna go into the folder of let's go assets. Let's create a new folder called. We're just gonna call it images for now. I already had that. Never mind. All right, we're going to put it in images and we're just going to hit start record. Cool. Oh, shoot. Okay. So, one thing I want to do there is I want to turn the canvases off. Let's do that again. Boom. Canvas back on. So what we're going to do is, yep, we're in, let's try this again. We're going to go RGG Builder character. If you don't save anything, it doesn't, doesn't save it. Out. Well, oh, it's still there. So we've got, uh, oh, that's the reason why. It's because I already created this. So let's get rid of this one. All right, so we're going to go to Add Gender. It's going to be female. We're going to go Prefab. Uh, so we still need to create the Prefab. So we're going to go here. I'm going to go to blink. We're going to just going to put it under characters. Tools in the characters. And we're going to just give her a different name. Don't matter. We're just going to call her girl. Drag her in here. When we're in here, we can drag her prefab in here. Put our images folder like this in here. Dynamic M animator, we want that. Drag human rest override in both of these. Think we got everything? Let's let's double check. Her Switch the camera back to the one we actually need to use. I'm going to go to new character. There's a girl. We're going to call it, well, once again, let's we'll call it girl. It doesn't matter. Gorilla. Oh, I guess I already did that one. Let's call it girl two. 
And there we are. This we can in there a little bit. Got some sparkle. Looks pretty good there. Can move her around, jump up. She doesn't have anything in her hands, but we kind of see what it's going to look like. Yeah, we have a character that's working. With a Daz model. And even though she doesn't look exactly right next to these low poly models, uh, she looks pretty decent. And in future tutorials, we're going to kind of... I'm just going to take this demo world, I think, and I'm just going to adjust it and make it look the way I want. Uh, I might switch to URP, but the problem is that there's a bunch of things that we have to switch, especially if you want to use these same skills. Uh, if it's in URP, you're going to have some issues with um, the particles uh, not looking right. And I really like the way these particles look, so maybe I'll stick with basic for now. Um, I also, considering it's a Daz model, uh, we may want to. Here, let's see what she looks. Let's see what it looks like when we go to a little bit higher resolution. Looks looks good, but we'll probably maybe make the. Uh, camera a little bit closer uh, just so we could completely take advantage of the detail on the Daz models. But anyways, that's what I have for today. Uh, on the next tutorial, I think what I'll do is um, we'll add some hair to her and we'll start working with the environment, making it just look a little bit more uh, close to her detail and uh, kind of just go from there and see what else we could do with this. I think it's kind of exciting being able to use RPG Builder now with DAS models, whereas before it was a uh, it was it was not easy to do, but with the 2.0 RPG Builder, it definitely is. All right, everybody have a great day.